This is my $51.88 from Aldi. I did this a few days before my Walmart grocery pickup. I got corn syrup. My husband just used the last of this to make hot fudge. This is something we definitely keep on hand for holiday baking and just baking in general. My two girls came with me to Aldi and they always get a drink. You know, that's their bribe. And so since my son wasn't with me, I knew it would be a fit if the four-year-old didn't get a drink. So they got him the same thing. Strawberry lemonades. I got roasted vegetable crackers. I love these things. It's like vegetable version of Ritz. They're so yummy. And I got more goat cheese just for me to snack on in my eating window. I had that a few weeks ago with our charcuterie board. And let me just tell you, I was sad when the goat cheese ran out. So I got my favorite crackers and cheese just to open my window with. I might share if my kids ask nicely. Uh, while we were there, this was not on my list. And I told my kids I wasn't getting anything that wasn't on the list. So don't even ask me. But they saw these and they asked me and I said yes. You know, that's just how it is being a mom. But they like these crunchy granola bars. And I think they'll be easy snacks or breakfast in the morning. So they're like $1.39. Good value for six two-packs. This is something my son asked me for a few weeks ago and I said no because of how giant the box is, but we just ran out of chicken nuggets and chicken nuggets are something really easy that I can just stick two or three in the air fryer and add to leftovers, fresh vegetables, fresh fruit, and make a lunch for him. So since I'm out of the chicken nuggets, I grabbed him these before they were gone and I knew he'd be really excited. So I'm actually excited to show him that I got those. I got artichoke salad. I'll probably end up eating this with the crackers and goat cheese or other cheeses that we have, but also I'm making stromboli this week for dinner and I'm definitely gonna put some artichokes and red peppers in my stromboli. Extra virgin olive oil. This is just an ingredient that we keep on hand and we ran out during dinner tonight actually. So I got one to use and one to keep in my pantry so that when I run out of one, we can just go to the pantry and then I can buy more at that time instead of completely running out like I did. Nutmeg I almost ran out of when I made pumpkin whoopie pies last week and I don't have enough for a future recipe of some sort so I just replenished our nutmeg supply and thankfully Aldi had it because they have all their holiday seasonings. So it was less than $2 for a lot of nutmeg compared to a lot more of like a McCormick brand. I will admit this wasn't on my list and I saw it when we were going to the checkout, but it's the uh, Connelly's. I love their Irish cream, the flavored or country cream. This is the caramel flavor. I am very much looking forward to in a few weeks, Aldi having their Irish cream or country cream um, advent calendar. It's only 12 days worth, but I saw this and we are going to my in-laws and I'm gonna take it to eat dinner with. I got some cola for my husband. He just asked me for an off-brand cola and he likes all the versions, so we got that. Also, we are almost out of the tangerine flavor of the Belle V's. We still have some lemon, so I replenished these. And finally, we're having butter chicken this week and I am all out of naan. And if you're wondering, Jackie, I thought you only bought naan when it had a red sticker. You're right, that's what I tried to do. But they have not had red stickered naan in the longest time and we were completely on it, out of non, so I had no choice but to buy it at full price. But for $4, it still is something that we really love and I definitely don't wanna make my butter chicken and not have non to eat it with. So all together, this is um, what $51.88 got you between my chicken fries and the country cream, that was about $20 of it. So two big ticket items and the rest just added up but this week will be yummy. And now we will get to the Walmart haul. So now that you saw my Aldi haul, here's what I got from Walmart. I got milk just to have a cereal, to drink, you know the drill, normal family things. I got another box of Topo Chico. I bought maybe a month or two ago a box of these. They're a little more expensive, so I treat them as treats. I do fast every single day, and this is something that I can drink, and it's effervescence, effervescence. I'm not sure how to say that exactly, but it's super bubbly, and I really enjoy it, and I like to have these on hand. So I just finished my last one on my last 500 calorie down day, so I wanna make sure I have these. I especially like to have them on my down days. It's a nice little treat. And if you've never tried Topo Chico, I highly suggest it. 
I have two bags of green beans. I am making green beans, beef and noodles, and some crusty bread and no bake cookies to take to a friend that just had a baby. So we will have the exact same dinner. I'm sure you don't remember, but many moons ago I made beef and noodles and I bought enough to make it again just because the ingredients, I had enough of beef to make two helpings. So I have the rest of the beef frozen. So I already had everything on hand. It makes for an easy dinner this week. I just needed more green beans. White bread, just for sandwiches, toast, whatever. You know, I keep that on hand regularly. I also bought an everything bread for my husband wants to make chicken noodle soup. He likes to make it homemade and we needed this to go as a side. Also, I needed more celery. I already have carrots. And then you'll see we I bought chicken broth for it. I will be buying a rotisserie chicken the day he makes it from Meyer, but I only buy that the day of and I can't get it through my Walmart grocery pickup. I have cilantro and diced tomatoes because I'm gonna use frozen chicken and make butter chicken. That's one of my favorite dinners. I bought the naan from Aldi to make it and I already have a bunch of whipping cream in the fridge from my last grocery haul, so I'm set there. I also have the garam masala and the turmeric. I'm all set on my spices. I just needed these two. We'll serve it with rice, broccoli, both of which I have on hand. Parmesan cheese, just to top noodles or put in soups or whatever, but we're running low. I completely ran out of pickles in our fridge and that's kind of a sin around our house. And I also love just to have pickles to snack on for myself, for my kids, to have on the sides of lunches, on sandwiches. We just like pickles and we used all of our pickles. I plan to have a balsamic vinegar, cherry tomato, I'm gonna use about half this mozzarella, and I have a cucumber, I'm gonna make a big salad for one of my 500 calorie down days. I do it once a week as I'm fasting, and that is gonna be my down day this week, and then I will have half the mozzarella left to do it again, or just to munch on when I'm not doing the down day. But I'm also, on that same meal, gonna have pepperoni with artichokes, so it'll be kind of like an anti-pasto platter and I am actually very excited for it. It sounds good, but most of the pepperoni is gonna be used for stromboli along with the mozzarella. I make a homemade crust, I roll it up, it's super delicious, and then we dip it in pizza sauce. I have shared how I make stromboli. It's one of my absolute favorite things to make. It's fun and it's super yummy. The chicken broth is for the chicken noodle soup my husband's gonna make, and then he makes homemade egg noodles. I have been excited to try this. It is the first time I was able to get it through Walmart, but it's the Starbucks Holiday Blend. So I drink black coffee while I'm fasting, and the only thing, I can't get flavored coffee without it breaking my fast, um, but I can have notes, because that means it's natural to the bean. It's not like flavored artificially, if that makes sense. Anyways, um, the holiday blend was suggested in a fasting group that I'm in as a really delicious black coffee, so I'm excited to give it a try, and I will uh, let you guys know if I like it. Probably in the comments, because I'm putting this out the day of, and I'm not going to open it today. And finally, our non-food items. I got double zip bags. I actually tried ordering a different version, but they substituted for this, but I just needed gallon bags, so this works. And then we are starting baking a lot. The colder it gets, the more we bake. You've heard me say that before, but we got more parchment paper. So we needed that to line our cookie sheets with. And then finally, hair gel for my husband. Tresemme Maximum or Mega Hold. This is what roughly $54 got us at Walmart. There were a few items that were out of stock, like cat litter, cucumber, but... I'll pick up the cucumber when I get my rotisserie chicken and we'll be all set. And now we'll get to the meal plan for the week. Okay, on the meal plan we have chicken noodle soup. My husband's gonna make that beef noodles, green beans. I'm gonna make a crusty bread like I mentioned and I, it makes so much that I'm able to take half of it to a friend that just had a baby. Butter chicken, rice, I also am gonna make broccoli and my non wedges in the air fryer. Literally top dinner, I could eat this once a week it's my favorite ravioli is from last week's meal plan we didn't get to it it's the sun-dried tomato and cheese ravioli from aldi i'm going to make a pesto creamy sauce it's going to be kind of fly by the seat of my pants and then maybe i'll make chicken with it or we'll have salads but that's just a carryover from last week pepperoni stromboli 
That again is one of my favorite things to make. And then I didn't exactly plan more dinner. I didn't plan another dinner. Um, we still have hot dogs that has been floating around. I froze my buns. So we still have hot dogs as a dinner option or something else from the pantry, but I just have a few meals that keep bouncing around and I wanna use up food in our pantry. So my daughter is having a friend over on Friday night and we're gonna probably get them Little Caesars and then my husband and I will either eat leftovers here or um, maybe I'll use that day as my down day. I'm not sure, but we're not planning any other dinner that night, so we'll see. But this is our meal plan for the week. Now that I only eat um, mainly a single meal a day, that usually includes some sort of a snack before the dinner and then also dessert. So I'm like 100% satisfied and not deprived. You know how important it is for me to eat dinners that I love, which is why beef and noodles, butter chicken, stromboli, three of my favorite dinners. I also love ravioli, you know. It's really easy to fast when I have meals that I love. If me mentioning stromboli sounded really good to you, you should check out this video right here where I share with you step-by-step step how I make the crust, how I layer the ingredients, roll the stromboli, how I top it, bake it, and most importantly, how delicious it is. You can check that out right here. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao down and ciao.